Hey y'all, happy Halloween. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be attempting to paint a spooky, scary jack-o'-lantern. Feel free to paint with me and we'll try not to screw it up too bad. And if we do, we'll have a drink ready to make us feel better. So grab an age-appropriate drink and let's get to it. So for this painting, um, our paints are going to be acrylic. They're going to be titanium white, burnt sienna, cadmium yellow, medium hue. I am actually going to use Mars black this time. I'm not going to mix my own black because we're going to use a lot of it, so I don't want to bother with it. And then Alo Blue as well. Uh, I have palette paper to mix my paints on. I have canvas paper to paint on. Um, I have my beverage of choice, some water, and our four brushes. Uh, I have an inch long brush, a quarter inch flat brush, a detail brush, and a palette knife. Palette knife is optional just for mixing paints, but it does save our brushes for the long run, so I'll use it. Uh, if I remember, and then a napkin, and that's all we need. All right, y'all, so today is our spooky Halloween edition, so it's got to be extra. It's going to be a scary, spooky jack-o'-lantern for Halloween. Um, of course, it's a little bit different today. I'm actually going to use black. I hardly ever use black, but if you use a lot of it, I like it pre-mixed. So we're going to do it today. So first, we'll take our black. We'll add, like, a quarter-sized white. Uh, so we don't need too much dime-sized blue dime-sized sienna. Er, ooh, this blue always falls down. Burnt sienna dime. Cadmium yellow medium hue dime. It's going to be like all black, which is spooky. So first we'll take our inch long brush. Wipe it a little bit on our napkin, and then we're just going to do black. We will probably choose where we want our pumpkin to be first before we get down too far. I will just do a vague outline. I like to just outline, again, paint, acrylic paint especially, super forgiving. You can always just do more layers. So again, with our pumpkin, what we'll do is kind of outline where we want it to be. Here's our little pumpkin man. You don't want a lot of texture, so make sure if you do a glob of paint, you wipe it up pretty well. I got a glob right here. I'm just gonna take my brush and kind of wipe it, wipe it off. This is where it does not matter too much. Again, if you, um, if you have to cover something up, we'll fix it, no problem. And then we'll make sure to do his little eyeballs. So you wanna do that. We'll do, I, I'm going to do a traditional jack-o'-lantern with a smile like that. Again, it's super rough, maybe a little stem. And again, it's just like a sideways oval, little triangles. Again, I got texture on here, so I'm just going to wipe it off with my brush, probably wipe it over here. Um, and then another triangle, and a little jack-o'-lantern mouth. And he's got he's got two teeth, that's a classic one. We want it to look, look a little friendly, not too scary. That's too much, too much. And then we'll just keep going with this black. I do not like to mix colors if I'm using so, so much. I would prefer it to just be mixed already. So that is why we are just doing this because it's so much easier. Alright. We'll just keep going. Make sure all of our bases are covered. With this, we want to cover everything but our jack-o'-lantern part. And even then, we will cover it a little bit with black, but we'll kind of probably be a little bit more careful about it because we don't want to cover the important parts. And what we're going to try and make it do is shine through um, the black. So we want it to make it look like it's a very dark night and there is a shine coming out of our jack-o'-lantern and it'll look it is super scary. Because I mean, this is Halloween. You gotta make it special. You gotta make it look real good. And then we'll do the bottom part of it black as well. Um, this you can leave a little bit less um, black because 
we will be covering over it. Yes, already so spooky. The only problem is that then you can't hold it down, so it's gonna just go wild and crazy, but that's okay. All right, and then we'll carefully also fill this in with black too. We can make the um, little triangles widen out later. So we'll just cover everything in black besides the very most of our triangles. It's just like it's a really, it's kind of like a rough draft. When you're writing, it's kind of shit in the beginning. And then you start to edit and it looks real good. Same with painting. It's going to be shit at first. And you're going to add more layers. And then it's going to look bomb AF. So just hang in there. It always looks like shit in the beginning. And then it comes together and you're like, oh my gosh. Look what I made. All right. And then we'll also just a little connect it over here. So we want to leave a little bit, like we want to know where our jack-o'-lantern is going, but we will do the bottom part. We'll leave the curves though, so we can see. You can see his figure, you know? You want to see his shape, his figure. You want him to look special. And yeah, that so far looks super cute. Looks super spooky. Okay. So next, what we'll do is we'll make an orange color. So we'll take our palette knife, do some brown, do some yellow, do more yellow because brown's gonna overwhelm it. We'll make a nice pumpkin orange color. And then we'll also add more yellow over here too. Honestly, we might need more yellow because the yellow is very weak. Perfect. And then we'll also do a little bit of white. I do like a super yellow one. Great. All right. So then we'll take our quarter inch brush. Make sure our line is good. If you have to, you can kind of fluff it up. And then we'll do the inside of our pumpkin. So it's a little translucent. We'll add white to it. That does make it more red, which is great. Kind of what we want. Great, that is a nice orange color. Nice orange, it is all in my brush. I totally ruined my brush. I'll wipe it off on my napkin. Uh, it's still a little wet, but that's okay. I'm just gonna go through. This is the first layer, again, first draft is gonna be shit. And I'm just going to find where I think the um, rind of the pumpkin is going to be. And that's the one that's going to stick out. I'm going to try and do it all on the same side so that it looks like the rind is sticking out all on that side. And you can kind of follow it as well. Again, this is first layer. No worries if it looks a little crappy. Because that is just the process. Trust the process. Make it smile a little bit. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. And we'll do a little bit up here too. And we'll follow our lumps and bumps. It's okay if you pick up some black, it's gonna be dark. It's our, it's our first layer. Can look a little shitty. And if you feel like you have messed it up, this black is all consuming, uh, you will have a chance to cover it up later. Do not, do not fret. You can also do some lines down the side of it. So he looks highlighted. Look, it's already coming together. And then we'll do some also where we think the, um, on the ground where it's gonna shine and show up. This, honestly, we should do, makes it a little black. Because uh, you want it to really radiate out and you don't want it to be 
too, too much. At least not on the sides. And also it's going to be like a mirror image. So you should also do like, since it goes this way up, it will go this way down. I didn't really pay attention to that. I kind of just freestyled it. That's okay. It still can be like that. No worries. All right, and then we'll let it dry for a second and put our brush in the water. Okay, so it's dried off enough. We're gonna take a sip of our wine and then we're gonna keep going for it. So we will take a little of this color that we made and that'll be the color of our rind, or I'm sorry, our stem. We'll just do that part and maybe a little bit others. Um, and then we'll also add black to that too and cover it up. Again, first draft, it can look crappy, no worries. You just kind of want to make sure that you know what you're headed towards um, so that you can layer and layer and layer and so that it looks better and better and better instead of just kind of guessing all the time. Uh, okay, and then we'll do this middle part again. It's just kind of the first draft of it still. It's going to be really translucent. I'm going to color outside the lines. This black is all encompassing, so I'm not worried about getting it outside the lines or anything. I'm just trying to figure out where I want it and what I want it to look like. Okay, perfect. That looks great. And then we'll do a little bit in the center. So that's probably about where our eyes are. And then this is the mouth that we have. our little nose, maybe an eye, and it doesn't have to be perfect, but it's going to be a little, little bit of a reflection. So you want to look a little like you kind of went with what you made up here. All right. And we'll wash our brush off. And again, just let it dry for a second um, so that we can go over it again. And then we can fix it all up and make it look really shiny and nice. All right, so our next step will be just kind of covering up all these other little areas that we have that we already did. Take a little bit more yellow, a little bit more white, a little bit of this orange, make this color again. And again, just go over it one more time. It's still really light. So we'll add more white to that. And again, what we want is just to make sure it shows up. We don't care too much about going over the lines. We just want to make sure that we have uh, it show up and it looks like it's bright inside. All right, that looks good. We'll do that. We got a little nose right here. We got an eye. Great. We'll do some of this. We'll mush it in. Just make it look super spooky. We'll do a couple little like li little lines over here. Make sure it looks like it's sitting on something. Since it's so dark, sometimes it's hard to tell. So we'll use some light instead of shadow to make sure it looks like it is sitting on something. This paint is very, uh, there. I don't have a lot of it. So I'm actually gonna mix more paint over here. We'll add yellow too. We'll add some brown instead. Just make it a dark brown. Do some dark brown over here. Yeah, perfect. Just do like little cobblestones or something. Little. And yeah, that can be cutting through our shadow as well. 
so that it looks like it's not just floating in the air. Again, we'll go back through with our black as well so that that'll look even more put together than it is. And once we have a little less paint, we'll go through on these lighter parts so that it looks um, a little less saturated than otherwise would. Perfect. All right, and then we'll wipe our brush off. Since it is so dark, we'll make sure to wipe it on our napkin as well. And then again, once more, we'll go through this orange on our pumpkin. Again, as you can see, it's a lot more opaque now, which is exactly what we want. So then we'll keep doing this pumpkin like this, just like that. We'll do a couple lines here. Just bring it through, kind of smush your brush down and bring it up so that it's a lighter line. Make sure to cover all of these blacks up here um, because that's gonna make it look more like a rounded pumpkin. Perfect. And again, any mistakes you think you made, any lens you go out of, we are gonna use black on top. It will cover everything, I promise you. No worries, honestly, we could use one more layer over here and it would be fine. Um, same thing here. We'll do another layer on our inside of the pumpkin so you can see the rind of it. We're just kind of, you use your layers um, work, make them work for you. So just layer and layer and layer and layer. And eventually it'll get there. We'll mix our orange with this brown that we made and that will be also our stem. Uh, we'll just cover that. That should be opaque enough to cover this. So that's perfect. We'll do one more line in there. All right, awesome. And then we'll wash our brush off. And we'll let it sit for a second, dry it. And then we can go over one more time and then we'll shape it on up. So while we wait for this to dry, we'll do a little bit in the background too. Uh, so since I poured this day low blue and we haven't done anything with it, let's do a little something with it. We'll mix it with our black. We'll mix it a little with white, make a nice gray color. Okay, I had way too much black, a little bit more white. Perfect, okay. So it's a nice gray color. We'll just do, we'll do little lines, make it look like a, a nice, windy, spooky Halloween night. And to do that, yeah, we'll just place our brush at the end and swipe it through. And then we'll do a couple of lines and a couple of swipes in the middle and more lines. And you can do a couple on top of the pumpkin. I would wait a second though. Wait till we finish the pumpkin and then you can do it on top. But yeah, then it looks like a nice, cool Halloween night, which I wish for right now. It's not, it's not too hot right now, but it's hot enough that I am sweating a little and I'm like, you know what? I'm done with that. It's fall, y'all. I'm ready for Halloween. Okay, and then you can wipe it off. Put your brush in the water and this is dry enough that we can do another layer so what we'll do is another layer take our brush one more time put it in our orange and just go on top if it's not dry just wait a second and try it again mine's not completely dry but it's dry enough Is dry enough. And then we'll do our yellow also one more time in the center. Because again, the yellow takes a long time to really build up. And you do want to make sure 
We want to make sure our lines against the orange and the yellow are pretty crisp because that's where our, um, our black won't be able to hide that as well. So you want to work hard for that at least. All right, and we'll do some more in this as well. All right, and we'll let it dry for a second. We will actually add some of this lighter orange on there too. So we'll take this and we'll just do some little chunks on the orange. It's not showing up. Okay, so we'll add white to it because it's, you want it to be a different enough shade that it does show up. So if it's not orange enough, or like it's too orange and it doesn't show up from the other color, add some white. And yeah, that's perfect. And we'll just make sure that it um, makes sense in there. So we're just kind of following the lines of our pumpkin. Just really quick and easy, no problem. I'm walking my brush down, bringing it up as I go, making a nice little line, and it looks good. Perfect, and we'll do kind of the same with our stem as well. So that's one color brown, and I also, as you can see, covered it with some of my spooky wind, and I don't like that. So I'm gonna do a little bit of this orange in the brown, so that it's a shade lighter, and then we'll just follow the lines of our stem, just like that. All right, and we'll let it dry really quick and then we can do our detail work and be done. All right, so this will probably be our last step and that's to add all the black to everything. So we'll take our flat brush and first what we'll do is go through our wind and I have some spaces that are a little bit um, see-through still. So I'm just going to add my flat brush um, with the sharp side. And I'm just going to go through and kind of cover up all those places that I want to be really opaque black. And I don't have too many. Again, this is a step you could do in the beginning too, is if, if you do really thick layers of black, then you don't need to do this one. But if you didn't, like me, and you were lazy, like me, all the time, then you might want to do this step one more time. Totally fine. And yeah, while we're waiting for a pumpkin to dry, you can do this while you wait. And then you can also do some of these little paver stones that the pumpkin's sitting on. So I'm just going to do kind of like wavy black lines. So like press my brush down and dab it, dab it, dab it. And just add it to this, kind of put it in this light area as well, just so that it looks like um, there are some shadows on there too. And again, anywhere that my paint is super washed out on, that's where I will do this as well. It is gonna be darker than my like washed out black up here, so that's gonna look really nice. All right, and then our last step is gonna be our pumpkin. So then we'll shape all of our pumpkin. So you can see my the stem of my pumpkin kind of goes out more over here. I don't want that. I want it to be narrower at the top. So I'm gonna do that follow this line and I'm just kind of gonna fix it until I like it and just follow it with my sharp sharp side of my brush do a couple little areas right there I have really one up here that is good enough and then now I'll take my detail brush you can use your flat brush uh, if you're pretty confident in it, no worries. But if you're not, you can use your flat or your detail brush as well. And it's just good. But I'm going to kind of follow where my highlights are and do a little bit of these black lines on the pumpkin and just really 
define where I want my lines. Again, this is where I'm going to cover up all of my mistakes, where I kind of went over the lines and stuff. And I'm going to make it look really sharp and really nice. And you can also go into your orange and you can go into your yellow. All good. If you want to do that, I will show you in a second. But really what I'm doing is, yeah, just following the lines. If I have some areas where it's um, kind of showing the canvas through, I might pick up a little water. And if you pick up a little water, uh, it's going to kind of turn into an ink. And that's a lot easier to work with, but it's going to be more transparent. And um, if you pick up too much water, it's going to be a mess. So just it's a fine line. It's a fine line. Again, I'm just going to kind of follow all of my spooky Halloween lines. And I'm going to fix all of my mistakes. So yeah, just make sure you're making this into a triangle again. Beautiful. And what I would do to differentiate this is probably not a solid black line, but you can do a little bit and show that it's shining through. And again, just, I plant my brush and drag it. I don't move my wrist, I move my hand. And that will give you much straighter lines. And I'm just gonna narrow it until like, the best, the best course of action is to do further out and then just bring it in as you go instead of trying to get the perfect line the first try. And if it's a little wet, it can kind of mush together. Um, I would just wipe my brush off and keep going. Again, just a little half lines. Don't connect them, that's totally fine. Ooh, he's coming together. He's a spooky little pumpkin. I don't know if you name pumpkins like you name turkeys for Thanksgiving, but I don't know what his name would be. Maybe Ferdinand? We'll name him that. Mr. Ferdinand, and he is a doll. He is a cutie. And same with the pumpkins, you can do some lines, like you don't have to follow the pumpkin completely. You can do some lines up to that follow. You can do whatever you like. Um, just make sure everything is pretty saturated so that there's no like really streaky lines and you should be good. Honestly, this guy looks so cute. Mr. Ferdinand, he is adorbs. I like him. Did y'all carve pumpkins for Halloween? I have not carved a pumpkin. I carved one pumpkin, but not for my porch. I wore it on my head. And it turned out really cute, but um, then it got smashed. So that is okay. And yeah, I'll just follow the lines of my pumpkin and sharpen it up. Make sure I don't have any of these crappy, mushy lines. And then the last thing we do is the mouth. Again, as I move my brush, I am moving my hand and I'm trying not to move just my wrist because that will not make my lines nice and smooth. If I find that my paint is not exact, like it's too goopy, it's not going where I want it, I'll add a little bit, a little bit of water and I'll make it more like an ink. And if it's a little textured too, that's totally fine. Um, because now is the last stages, so we're not going to try and like blend anything on top or anything like that. We're just, we're going for it. So you can add, you can have globs of paint and it'll just add nice texture. If you don't want it, just uh, wipe your brush off and kind of smooth it over and wipe it off, smooth it over. Um, and that'll give you a nice uniform 
uh, canvas, but personally, I don't, I don't mind it. It does look good sometimes too. So like, I'm okay with that. We really want to make sure his teeth are shining because teeth are so important. Trust me, my dentist tells me about mine all the time. Uh, she's not generally happy with it. And then again, we'll do defining a little bit of it. But not all the way. We'll leave some to the imagination. And again, that'll also help to um, smooth out our lines, make it look a better, little bit better. We can also, for the very last touch too, if you want, add a little bit of white to this yellow and then do even more white in here to make it look like it's really a fire on there. And then, yeah, that's our happy little lit pumpkin and he's having a great time. And one more thing too, if you want, now, probably better to wait till it's dry, but now we can add a little bit of this breeze through the pumpkin as well. And that's gonna be on top. So it'll look like it's really in the, uh, in the mist, in the spooky Halloween mist. All right, and that's gonna be it. Happy Halloween, you guys. Thanks so much for joining me. I can't believe October is already over, but it's the best month in the world. And yeah, thanks for joining. And our painting is done then, y'all. If you have any questions or any ideas for future paintings, please leave a comment and let me know. If you had a fun time, then please like and subscribe for more paintings in the future. Have a good day, a spooky season, a happy Halloween. Take care of yourselves. And bye.